What's up, guys? I should probably make this video before uh, somebody has a heart attack. <laughs> I've got a new addition to the garage. Mm -hmm. I gotta pin that up there. I gotta nail that up there. Anyway, messy garage, messy garage. I've, you know, went out and uh, I bought a 49 Ford bumper. You know, I figured I should start somewhere, right? Um, so here's a, a 49 shoebox Ford's bumper. So now I gotta gotta get the rest of the car. Uh, luckily enough, now I paid uh, quite a bit of money for this bumper, but the guy um, was a nice guy. Uh, he threw in a car with it, um, so you know that, you know that's a good deal. Um, not bad, right? Right. Forty nine Ford. Uh, you know, flathead, <clears throat> straight six. Pretty clean, huh? Pretty clean. So you know, like I said, it's a nice guy to throw something in like this. There it is. There it is. <clears throat> Everything is, uh, you know, all original in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? Oh, look. Look at that. No? Hasn't come apart yet. <clears throat> yep. You got the, uh, you know, the stains there. That's nice. And the headliner's, uh... <laughs> Old. <laughs> Old magic air. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So there it is. Uh you know Turbo Cobra, you know, he's flaunting around his uh his Cobra Ford truck. In slow SRT, he's been kind of, you know, thinking he's a badass with his, uh, with his V8 flathead. Um, what people don't know is, uh, Henry Ford in the late 40s, uh, experimented with some, uh, some mind-altering drugs. And in 49, he only made one of these, and here it is. It's the, uh, 49 Ford Swinger. The Swinger Edition here, very rare. <clears throat> uh, you don't see them every day. Um, so yeah, there it is. Now I have to figure out. Let me see. Sorry, you're looking at the ground. I have to make sure my phone here. Oh, uh, if I could set it up just right. There we go. You might be able to see me. You might not. Um, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> I got that in, uh, Cincinnati. Um, sold the dart. Uh, the guy that came to look at the dart, he was definitely Mopar Man. He looked at the fender tag, could decipher that. Looked at the VIN, could decipher that. Um, told me that... I guess it's somewhat rare for those cars to have uh, the disc brake option as well as air conditioning. Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, he bought it. He didn't even drive it and he bought it. Um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Dart was gone. I sold the bug engine, the bug chassis. Uh, took the money, bought this car. And I had some extra for my wife because she was somewhat pissed off that I sold the dart after a month, two months maybe, <laughs> to get another car. But this one, this one's keeper. Yep, I've been cruising around in it. Uh, the front end's uh, a little sketchy. It's got a lot of bump steer, uh, so I have to get it up on the lift and um, see what's going on with that. What's loose. Um, or what's worn out. 
butt drives, runs, you know, I, I cruise around in it. Uh, ordered seat belts for it, for the kids, cruise around with them. Oh, what else? Uh, first gear. I've never driven, really driven a three-speed on the column like this. Uh, first gear for me, I'm trying to find, I have to find like a nice spot to where I'm not like riding the clutch when I'm starting out and I'm not just dumping it. Um, the car, sometimes, if I don't do it just right, wants to like shudder, you know, the whole front end rattles and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, something with the clutch or just these three-speed, you know, three-speed on the columns in general. Um, but, you know, it, it shifts fine. Everything else is great and smooth. <coughs> um, I drove it, uh, drove it around quite a bit, and it's running good, so, um, I don't have a whole lot of crazy plans for it. Uh, the body's fairly straight. Uh, it's about ready for paint already. Um, it's in primer, obviously, so, you know, I, I, I'll look at it and see if I can see any spots where I'll have to pay attention to, but so far, I mean, like I said, I went over it and uh, everything looks good. Uh, the paint color, uh, since I've been messing around with this celestial blue, I think that light blue would look really good on this. Uh, the color I was going to do the bug. So I'm probably going to do that, which would look good. Now I'm back to the, uh, you know, should I do it more of a matte finish, you know, uh, more of a satin type, uh, you know, a flat clear coat on it, or should I do a, a gloss? I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, a gloss would look really good. The flat would look cool. I don't know. Um, but, you know, that's that's a ways off. There's some stuff that I need to pay attention to right now just to get it running good. The engine's great. The engine runs great. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just take a look at the front end. Uh, everything works in the, uh, in the inside the car except for the, the fuel gauge. Uh, so I looked at, you know, get a new sending unit for it. Uh, brakes work good. Uh, turn signals, it doesn't have the switch for the turn signals. So I'm doing the, you know, the arm thing. I don't think people even know what that means anymore. So that, you know, pretty much useless to do that. So, um, but, you know, just this, that, and the other. It's a good little thing to tinker around with this summer and drive it and enjoy it while I do it. Uh, the car is, you know... I think it, I think it was probably restored at some point. It had to have been. Probably I would say it. Mm, probably a early to mid '90s restoration. Um, but uh, you know he he already had the white walls on it, so that's half the battle there. For me, because I, I definitely wanted those, and they're not cheap. Um, but the guy had a. I think he works at a some kind of hot rod shop, some kind of body shop. Uh, he had a '37. I think it was 37 Willys. Uh, he does uh, like nostalgic drag racing with it. Uh, so he knew his stuff, you know, he's a nice guy. But I think he's, you know, he, he it was the, the story where, he, you know, he got this from a estate sale. Uh, I'm inclined to believe him, but it seems like every car I looked at, it came from somebody that died. So, you know, <coughs> I guess that's, you know, the thing to say when you're selling a car. But the title was in a lady's name he said that was the widow um, but the car's really straight you know it's really clean um, it's got some uh, I think it's a three inch three two or three inch drop in the back and then he cut the coils a few inches in the front uh, other than that, it looks mostly stock. Everything, uh, you know, floor, uh, the, you know, floor pans. There's the driver's side needs some attention. The rest are good. The trunk pans good. Um, just little things here and there. But hey, there it is, guys. Got the shoe box. Uh, pretty excited about it. I think I texted Ed, the kid, 50 what? I texted him probably, I like a hundred times. Sorry about this car. <laughs> I finally got it. So there it is. So, alright guys, that's the update. Uh, 
try to get some videos, some more videos out this weekend. My wife's working all weekend, so I'm with the kids. So in between my baby uh, napping, I can come out here, run out in the garage while she's napping, and do quick videos. But, uh, you know, well, there it is. And I'll probably do some uh, home improvement videos here in the new house this summer. I have some plans. I always have plans. Never have money, but I always have plans. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, you guys take it easy. And there it is, the newest edition. And I'm going to have this one for a while, I promise.